everybody. I'm Miss Sheldon at the Glenwood Springs Library, and I'm here to read you a story today. Do you all know what's going to happen on this coming Sunday? That's right. It's Mother's Day. And on Mother's Day, we celebrate mothers everywhere and all of our mothers. So let's look at this book. It's called Mother's Day, and it is by Anne Rockwell, and it's illustrated by Lizzie Rockwell. So let's get started. Evelyn, what are you going to do in school today? Mama asked me. I can't tell you, she said, that's a secret. At school, Nicholas and I walked down the hall together. He said, hey, Evelyn, did you remember to bring one? I nodded and I showed it to him, my shiny gold button. Mine's yellow with red stripes, he said. Do you see their buttons? See, he's got it in his hand. It's yellow and red and hers is gold. What do you think they're gonna do with those buttons? At circle time, Mrs. Madoff said, what holiday will we celebrate on Sunday? Mother's Day, they all shouted. Good, did everyone remember to bring a button? She asked, everyone had. Evelyn, how will your family celebrate Mother's Day? Asked Mrs. Madoff. How will your family celebrate Mother's Day? My mama will be very happy, I said. My big brother will be home from college. He and Papa will make beignets. And I'll roll them in powdered sugar. We won't let Mama help because Sunday is her special day. So now everybody's in the kitchen, but no Mama. Mom and I are hiking to the top of Chicksaw Mountain, said Jessica. Just the two of us. She loves to hike and so do I. I bought the kind of sweet, fat, black, seedless grapes that she loves for our picnic. See, they're eating the grapes. Dad and I are going to give Mom a birdhouse we built. It has a tiny hole, Evan said. The hole is tiny so that only wrens can fly in or out. Wrens are the cutest birds in our yard. That's what Mom says. Do you see the birdhouse? Where is it? Oh, it's not there yet because they haven't given it to her yet, huh? But look at that. That is a wren. <coughs> My mother died when I was a baby, Sarah said. Dad and I live with Grandma, who's his mother. She does everything for me that mothers do. On Mother's Day, Dad and I will make, will take her to a restaurant that has the kind of food her mom cooked. <clears throat> it's always popular on Mother's Day to go to the restaurants, huh? Pablo said <clears throat> last week, my father was bulldozing. Suddenly, he saw a little dogwood tree. He stopped his bulldozer just in time. He dug it up, roots and all, and put it in our garage. On Mother's Day, we'll plant it in our yard. That little dogwood tree sure will make my mother happy. <clears throat> Is this a little dogwood tree? We're not doing anything for Mama on Mother's Day, said Charlie. Instead, she is throwing a baby shower for her twin sister, Aunt Louisa. My aunt is going to have a baby, and then she'll be a mother to her baby, like Mama is to me. Dad says Mama sure is nice to share her special day with Aunt Louisa. That is nice, isn't it? <clears throat> Kate said, Daddy's been teaching me to play the violin while Mommy's at work. 
I can play a piece I learned for you. Kate tucked the violin under her chin, picked up the bow, and played. I practice my piece every day, she said, as soon as we'd finished clapping. I want to play it perfectly on Mother's Day. Mikito said, my mother is tired of only looking at pictures she drew. So my father and I decided the best gift we could give her was an all day trip to the largest museum in the city. See all the art in there? These are sculptures, but she's drawing right here. <clears throat> On Mother's Day, we're going shopping at the mall for a new kitchen table. I took all the money out of my piggy bank, Sam said. It will help us buy my mother a new table with chairs to match. Don't forget me, said Nicholas. You know, I never would, said Mrs. Madoff. My mom loves animal, but all we have is a goldfish. Do you know what? She's getting a puppy for Mother's Day. I picked him out. Look at all those adorable puppies. Think you wish your mom would like a puppy for Mother's Day? Oh, I think they're so cute. Mrs. Madoff said it was time to make our Mother's Day gifts. A lady I'd never seen before came into our classroom. Boys and girls, said Miss Madoff, here's Annie. She's my mom. She is going to show us how to make paper flowers with our buttons. Remember they brought buttons into school today? <clears throat> We start with a circle of construction paper. Next, we cut out petals from tissue paper and glue them around the circle. That makes a flower. Then we glued our buttons in the center of each tissue paper flower. Look at that, it looks like a flower, doesn't it? Finally, we cut out leaves and glue them to the fuzzy pipe cleaner. When we glued the pipe, then we glued the pipe cleaner to the, and to the flowers. Our flowers have leaves and stems now. See this? There's a completed flower. A pink, my pink rose, pink and red rose with shiny gold center was the most beautiful thing in the world. That is pretty, isn't it? Pink and gold rose. That's what my mama said. She loved that rose and the beignets that I brought her on Mother's Day. Look at that. That looks like a good Mother's Day. What are you planning to do for your mother for Mother's Day? I hope you have fun, and I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time. Bye-bye.